What's going on everyone? My name is Ken Tuck and I'm back again with another video. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded anything to YouTube, but man, this past weekend was WrestleMania and bro, I am excited about pro wrestling right now, man. I've been a WWE fan since the first episode of SmackDown, right? Like 1999 or something like that. And I haven't been this excited about pro wrestling about the WWE in a long time to see Cody Rhodes <laughs> finally, finally finish the story, bro, and finally take down Roman Reigns and, and become the new Universal Undisputed Champion was absolute. It was an absolute masterclass. They all deserve credit, man. First of all, much credit due to Triple H. What he's been able to do just in these last, what, two years or so, year and a half, it's just been remarkable. And I really think he's just getting started. Matter of fact, I know he's just getting started because, you know, last night the story ended. Now it's time for new stories. And Triple H deserves all the credit in the world, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to The Rock. I, I ain't going to lie. I, I wasn't excited when The Rock came back and it looked like he was going to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But for them to pivot... Whether it was all the work or not, whether they just decided to change their mind or this was the plan all along, I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> it came out in a in a in a. It's just a masterclass of storytelling. The Rock becoming the final boss, the heel version of The Rock. Oh man, it's incredible. He deserves so much credit. He was already cemented. He's already one of the all time greats. Some people say he is the greatest. You know, we can debate that another time, but he is definitely one of the all-time greats. And these last few months, it's like he's elevated even more. And he's not even finished because I'm pretty sure him and Roman Reigns eventually are going to have that match. You know what I mean? So shout out to The Rock. Shout out to Roman Reigns. He deserves so much credit, bro. This dude has been battling leukemia this whole time. This guy went from someone who was being booed. I was there when Roman Reigns was being booed and <laughs> booed out of every arena. And I was always a fan of him. But I always felt like he was just like, nah, he don't need to be playing this character. He needs to be something different. And so this tribal chief head to the table thing he's been doing the past number of years alongside the wise man, Paul Heyman, man, is absolutely incredible. He has cemented himself as one of the all-time greats. Where you rank him, I don't care. He's in my personal top 10 now just off the strength of these last, what, three, four years. Man, it's just been incredible. The amount of moments that he's been a part of. The fact that, you know, he took, he, he basically, you know, uh, added something new during the uh, pandemic. You know, just creating a more movie feel. That's why all the people are saying it feels like cinema. That all started with Roman Reigns, you know, talking trash in the ring. And, you know, it was no audience. So they had to do something to, you know, add a little uh, a little flair, <laughs> you know, to the show. And Roman Reigns did that. Now he has a shoe deal with Nike and the Jordan brand. Like, bro, <laughs> Roman Reigns is one of the all-time greats. And he's not even finished yet. You know, I don't think he is. Some people saying, oh, he's retiring. Nah, man, I think Roman Reigns is just getting started. Actually, I actually think if some people are saying, oh, you know, Cody Rhodes should have lost. To me, Roman Reigns losing actually helps him. Like Roman Reigns losing is a good thing for him because now it allows his character to develop more because he's been the head of the table, the tribal chief for what, the past three years, four years. And so now he's finally, finally going to have to, you know, evolve and, and, and do something different. Like who is Roman Reigns now without the championship? That creates a whole nother opportunity for stories. And man, I'm excited about, you know, uh, the character of Roman Reigns to see where he goes with it. My prediction right now is that he's going to take a break and he's not going to, you know, I know he was a part time. <laughs> he's a part time act anyway, but I definitely see him going away for a while. And uh, maybe come back around SummerSlam time. I, I don't see him coming back anytime soon. Maybe he'll be that Friday, you know, for SmackDown. Maybe not. But I see him going away for a long time. And he became such a good bad guy. Like he, he, he was so good at being a bad guy. It makes the victory of Cody Rhodes that much bigger, man. And he deserves all the credit. Shout out to Roman Reigns, one of my favorites. Seth Rollins deserves 
so much praise. Give that man his flowers, man. Seth Rollins can't snow. My bad. Seth freaking Rollins came through this weekend, man. Like the match teaming up with Cody Rhodes, fighting the Rock and Roman Reigns, and then having a match with Drew McIntyre. Then the last, you know, in the final moments of the Cody Rhodes Roman match, Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns match him sacrificing himself, becoming the shield for Cody Rhodes. Like, bro, that is storytelling. Roman Reigns could have took could have took out Cody Rhodes, but. You know, Seth Rollins is the thorn in, in Roman Reigns' side, you know, ever since he betrayed him 10 years ago. So to come back 10 years later and to basically cost him again <laughs> to be that thorn in his side, like, bro. And they still need to have their one-on-one match. Like, I know they had it, uh, what was that, Royal Rumble 2022, but Roman Reigns has never actually pinned Seth Rollins one-on-one. -on -one. So, again, that's a whole nother story you can tell. So, they're going to be linked forever. Like, I just saw something that was like, you know, Roman Reigns was champion for 1,300, like, 1,316 days. And Seth Rollins was champion for 316 days. <laughs> like, bro, these dudes are forever linked together. When he when that music hit, I really thought it was Mox. I thought it was John Moxley, a.k.a. Dean Ambrose. I'm like, yo, Dean Ambrose out <laughs> here? But, man, it was just incredible. It's like, yo, if if... If Cody Rhodes is Captain America, Seth Rollins is Iron Man. <laughs> like, it, it, it was perfect, man. Seth Rollins, my prediction for him is that he's also going to take a break. I know he's dealing with a lot of injuries and things. I can see him taking a break for a while to recuperate, get whatever work he needs to get done on his bodies, and just chill out for a while because he's been going ham for the last, what, the last year or so being a fighting champion, fighting through all these injuries and everything. So, Shout out to Seth Rollins, man. I have so much respect for him. I always been a fan of him, but it's like he's just he's just elevating. Like, bro, I'm so excited for him and to see where his character goes. Uh, also, man, shout out to Bailey. Bailey, uh, you know, she became champion. I'm a big fan of Bailey. Shout out to her. I'm glad Rhea Ripley won. Like, shout out to Becky Lynch, but I, 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 you know, mommy is always on top. So, you know, <laughs> Rhea Ripley had to get it, you know what I mean? And she can't get it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> nah, man, look, Rhea Ripley, I'm so happy for her. She's clearly one of their top stars. And I don't even mean just female stars. She's just one of their top stars. So, shout out to Rhea Ripley. Shout out to Damian Priest. I had a feeling he was going to cash in like a man. Drew McIntyre, I love my boy Drew, but I had a feeling Damian Priest was going to cash in. So to see Damian Priest cash in was a special moment, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to the Judgment Day. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just a fan of Damian Priest. And I don't know how long he's going to keep the championship, but that was still a great moment, man. And he deserves it. He's a damn good pro wrestler. And uh, he has a bright future as well. I'm really happy for Damian Priest. Uh, man, and of course, Cody Rhodes, bro, like, <laughs> this man came back and did exactly what he said he was going to do. He finished the story. He did it for his dad. He did it for the Cody Crybabies, <laughs> and I'm one of them. <laughs> man, it, it's just, and to know that, you know, he wasn't, he, you know, when you look at his past, he was stardust, and they never was going to make Cody Rhodes the top guy. So for him to travel his own road, no pun intended, go to AEW, come back, and 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 just have a strong connection with the fans. He's so likable, and and he's great for the business in terms of someone who can go out there and be great for media and you know great with the kids, the audience, and things like that. Someone you would want to be the face of your company, like. Man, I'm so happy for Cody Rhodes, bro. I had some tears in my eyes, bro. It's like, man, Cody Rhodes. Bro, for all you people like to say wrestling is fake, bro, I don't give a damn. Wrestling is not fake. It's scripted. But the real emotions that we feel, bro, I don't give a damn. And anyway, I think it's funny that y'all like to say wrestling is fake, but y'all watch reality TV. Y'all say wrestling is fake, but y'all watch... I'm not even gonna get into that. Anyway, this is about Cody Rhodes, man. I'm gonna say that for another conversation. Cody Rhodes finished the story, and, man, I, I'm so excited for him, man. This just opens the door for so many new matches and stories and, you know, what's next for him. How, who is he going to – who's his first few going to be against? And I'm intrigued to see that. That's why I can't wait for Monday Night Raw tonight just to see, 
you know, what's his first few going to be? Who is he going to fight first? You know, man, shout out to Cody Rhodes. That's why I'm so excited for Monday Night Raw tonight, just to see like who was Cody Rhodes first opponent, who's going to be his first rivalry, you know? But man, it was a great match. The last few minutes was absolutely incredible, man, with John Cena coming out there and then and then The Rock coming out there and they had their face to face. I thought Stone Cold was going to come out there. I really thought that glass was going to break and if Stone Cold would have came out there, boy. But either way, The Undertaker, my favorite wrestler of all time, came out there. Bro, I was like, <laughs> he feel like a kid, bro. Like, this the Undertaker, man. Like coming back to put the rock down, and oh man, it, it the last few minutes of that match. That was one of the greatest main events I've ever seen. WrestleMania 40 was incredible. Shout out to the WWE. Shout out to everyone: the writers, the producers, the camera people, the referees. Michael Cole, he deserves his respect too, because Michael Cole, man, he he, you know. He's been criticized a lot over the years, but I think under Triple H, he's allowed to just, you know, really have more freedom. And Pat McAfee, of course, brings a different energy. Man, shout out to Michael Cole. Shout out to Samantha Irvin, the ring announcer. She was emotional. Like, bro, last night was, like Michael Cole said, this is why I love pro wrestling, man. I don't, you know, shout out to the football fans, basketball fans. But, man, ain't nothing like pro wrestling. I don't care what no one say. No disrespect, all disrespect. <laughs> it ain't nothing like pro wrestling, bro. It ain't nothing like the WWE. And they are just getting started. And, man, it's funny because this is the first video I've made in a while. And a friend of mine, my homeboy, he was like, man, you should go ahead and start a wrestling podcast. And we'll see what happens, man, because I don't know much. But one thing I can talk about is, is wrestling, man, and WWE because... I just love this sport. I love the the storytelling. I love cinema. I love the 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 everything, man. Just everything. I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm I'm, I'm just trying to process everything, bro. I, I watched the main event again. I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> they did a, a amazing job. The entire weekend was great. I do think night two was better than night one. The night one crowd wasn't really into it. Because night two, that, that crowd was absolutely amazing from start to finish. Uh, to see Jay Cargill, Bianca Belair, Naomi, three black women coming together to, you know what I mean, and, and wrestle and, and fight. Man, it, it was just, this this was incredible. Shout out to Triple H. Shout out to all the WWE fans around the world. I'm going to make more wrestling content. If you're not a fan of wrestling content, go ahead and unsubscribe. Because I'm about to make a lot of wrestling content, man. This channel might just become a wrestling channel. Who knows? Ken talks. Like, Ken talks wrestling. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just made that up. We'll see what happens. Ken talks wrestling. We'll see. Or Ken talks WWE. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Shout out to WWE. I'm super excited. Super excited to see where they go from here. Um and it's a great time to be a fan of pro wrestling. If you're someone who used to be a fan of wrestling and maybe you kind of stopped watching, this is a great time to get back into it, man, because I really believe they're just getting started, man. I really believe that because it's so now it just opens the door for so many new stories to be told and characters. And it, honestly, it makes me miss Bray Wyatt even more because if Bray Wyatt was, oh, I can only imagine what he would have done if he was there last night. So Rest in peace to Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt, one of my favorites of all time. But, man, uh, but maybe his brother comes back and, and debuts, Bo Dallas. You know what I mean? Maybe he continues the Bray Wyatt legacy. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and end this, man. Shout out to all the wrestling fans across the world. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. Drop a comment. Let me know what did you think about WrestleMania. It was incredible. It was pure cinema. <laughs> the Triple H era has begun. And, man, I, I look forward to being a part of this and watching every week and, and just seeing what they do next, man. I'm super excited for the WWE, for wrestling fans. I'm excited for the wrestlers themselves because it just seems like they're just having fun and they're just enjoying it. The Rock is back, and it's just like, it's just incredible, man. And I'm going to go ahead and end this. Shout out to all of you. Like, comment, subscribe. My name is Ken Talk, and I'm just sharing my thoughts. Peace.